you're this perp back with another video and wow what in an intense episode i really enjoyed this episode there's a lot of twists and turns a lot of um really dope scenes really dope moments we only got a few more episodes left the tension you could just feel it in the air but before i get to this review hit that like button and subscribe follow me on twitter at perp 420 shout outs to these two ladies ferguson and mari my favorite characters because man <sighs> i don't think they get enough uh respect but it, it's just they really show why they're the best villains in this show um i give it to luke kelly too but you know these two i feel like are really what makes this show really interesting I just wanted to put that out there, but let's get right into this review. Episode opens up with this camera footage and we're seeing what, you know, Boomer is doing with that camera that that guy gave to her. And I guess that guy is going to uh, use that for profit. Weird shit. But things at Wentworth are really shaky because, you know, there is no top dog so the women want to make a vote on it and you know uh boomer volunteers as tribute <laughs> to challenge lou kelly for top dog while this is going on and it's just going on a rampage because she wants results and i like that jackson kind of steps up again and just says yo this is all your fault all these changes is because of you all these problems are because of you and and did not like this and that pretty much set her off and she's pretty much wants to you know tear things down from the inside she absolutely hates this prison <laughs> while this is going on rita comes back and she's just different her personality is kind of different and it kind of seems like she's just acceptant of you know her fate just staying at wentworth and not fighting for a case and whatnot because that's a thing that um i forgot to mention about in these last past episodes you know she was fighting for a case to kind of clear her name but she kind of is at this state where you know she just is just comfortable where she's at she even wants to wear the teal and that's interesting because you know i'm always used to seeing rita with her jacket and stuff to like the leather coat this is going on you got judas or judy talking to ali pretty much let her letting her know about her case saying like you know we, if we say we're partners that could kind of help me and i can kind of help you because ali is going to try to sue the prison which i'm curious to see how that is going to work out i really hope that ali kind of puts two and two together but i have a theory just stay tuned speaking of stirring shit up you know you have miles really wanting to become you know uh governor so she's gonna do whatever she can to kind of get that and she doesn't care she has to throw people under the bus she even knows about you know jackson and mari's whole little fling that they had and she kind of uses that to her advantage to kind of get in um as governor so now there's a lot of pressure on will right now because if this if mari pretty much you know tells the truth and says you know me and jackson had some relations that that's his job and i like vera she's always been kind of always by will side and stuff like helping him get through just being um the governor that's a hard job to have especially being a top dog those two positions being a governor or being a top dog there's a lot of baggage that comes with those positions meanwhile back at the prison things are really starting to shake up as uh lou kelly is going back to uh gen pop she continues to put the pressure on boomer because she knows that boomer is kind of soft and boomer 
definitely does not feel confident in facing off against Luke Kelly. Because this is the only time we've ever seen Boomer kind of be this afraid of somebody. She's usually always up for a fight. But, like, for some odd reason, Luke Kelly has got her kind of uh, scared. Now, here's one of my favorite scenes. You know, Mari being Mari once again. And planting the seeds similar to how she did to Sheila. And she was able to get Sheila out of here. Um, she's planting the seeds in lou kelly's head saying like you don't need to worry about boomer you got to worry about rita because rita still kind of feels some type of way uh towards mari so why not try to use kelly to get rita uh out of the way because that's the one person that's going to try to stop you you know from fighting boomer and we get a scene of Anne pressing uh vera about the whole will and mari situation is just really interesting and these two have always bumped heads they never really liked each other i really like these uh dr miller and ferguson scenes where we're really diving into ferguson's brain and i feel like she's gonna snap at any at any moment definitely like the little conversations we had throughout this episode especially with uh mari and ferguson in this scene where mari's kind of just like feeling regret talking about creating monsters and i'll get into the ending because that was the, the rebuttal that um ferguson has was was perfect and it just tells me that it's only a matter of time before things just implode and just go left i can't wait while this is going on boomer is still kind of freaking out she's scared she's worried but she realizes she can't back down from this challenge while this is going on we get a little bit more into rita and i really like rita in this episode and she's kind of like talking to will about just feeling regret about just not being there for her family being away for 10 years and this happening now so that was that was pretty crazy but speaking of rita i think she's going to be the one that exposes judy because she even notices that you you know she's hanging around Allie a lot so her cop brain automatically turns on and rita's looking for ruby and ruby was about to go you know poke up lou kelly real quick just to kind of put her uh just to kind of slow her down Rita gets there in time to stop her. Going over to Mari and Anne, Anne tells Mari, look, I can get you transferred because in the beginning of this episode, Mari kind of just wanted to get transferred and be away from all this stuff. Here's the catch though. Anne wants her to pretty much flip on Will and just say, you know, pretty much lie on him. While this is going on, Ferguson is just now kind of leaving dr bella's office and kind of overhears jake and vera kind of having an argument over custody and this is my problem with jake and vera because even the uh previous season you know they talked way too much around ferguson and i feel like that's what kind of helped her get her memory back and i feel like she definitely does recognize and remember what happened and i think she's just holding back on her impulse like she's been saying so as we get towards the end of the episode Lou's plan to get Rita out of uh the picture works by giving her dirty piss that's going to kind of cause definitely some friction between those two Boomer is freaking out she doesn't want to fight Lou Kelly for good reason because Lou Kelly's just on a warpath. She just doesn't care. And that's what I really like about Lou Kelly right now. She's completely unhinged. Boomer gets the courage to finally face her and puts up a pretty good fight. But it's too late because she gets stabbed up. And she was about to get a throat slit. And Kelly said, yo, give up or I'll cut your throat. And... 
pretty much Boober uh, submits. It seemed like Luke Kelly kind of gave her her respect for the uh, the fight. Like they both dropped their knives and were just throwing fists at one point, which was really dope. But man, things are gonna get really, really cr hectic with just Luke Kelly as top dog. Then we see Ali and Judy talking to Judy's lawyer pretty much confirming that they're gonna fake being a couple so they kind of kind of help the, themselves i'm wondering how that's gonna go hopefully it falls flat on judy's face and it just blows up in her um blows up in her face and she gets what she deserves lou kelly and Anne's kind of uh relationship or uh partnership has come to a close that bridge has been burnt and they're definitely going to tease Rita versus Lou Kelly in a future episode. And I cannot wait. We finally get uh, Mari being interviewed and she pretty much doesn't throw Jackson under the bus and says, you've always been there for me. You've always been good to me, you know, and I and you don't owe me for that at all. And that's really cool. I really like Mari for that. She's really dope for that. Um, Reedy kind of snaps out of it and says, you know, I want to fight. She puts back on the jacket and stuff. And, you know, uh, that that's going to be interesting. I'm, I'm curious to see where that goes. So lastly, let's get into the final scenes of this episode, which was epic. We have another scene of Mari and Ferguson talking and Ferguson says, you know what? Sometimes you have to kill the monsters that you created. And I love that line. That's my favorite line of the season so far. And Mari's like, you're right. And you don't really know what she's planning. That's what's the crazy thing about Mari. She goes to comfort, you know, Lou because she's crying over Reb. Feels real bad. But then... Lou Kelly kind of has this Thanos moment where she's just like, I'm just going to kill everybody in this bitch. <laughs> and Mari's like, uh, maybe I fucked up again, but let me know how you guys feel about this episode. I thought it was really dope, man. Um, till next week, I will see y'all later. Peace.